Hey guys, Mariam here, feeling very summery with my summer waves, long hair, who this? <laughs> But anyway, welcome to my channel or welcome back. In today's video, I am going to be doing a one brand tutorial slash best of slash the ultimate guide to Too Faced Cosmetics. I am going to be sharing some of my favorites from this brand, applying them all to my face, creating this look that you see on my face and telling you why some of the products that I chose are my favorites and why some of the others are not. So the reason why I wanna do these videos is so that you can make an educated purchase before actually going out and getting your hands on some of these products. And also in case you're not familiar with the brand and you wanna know more about it, if you wanna see a bunch of their products in action, this is the video for you. I also have an ultimate guide playlist featuring a bunch of other different brands that you should probably check out after this video. I will link it down below in my description for your convenience. Also, if you are not subscribed already, remember to subscribe. And for those of you who are, thank you guys. Hit that notification bell so you can see all of my Wednesdays and Sundays videos. We are almost at 250,000. We are so close. Share this video spread the love and now that I've said everything that I needed to say I am ready to dive in so here we go the best of Too Faced here we come just when I had thanked the skin gods for blessing me with good summer skin they blessed me yet again thanks skin gods I'm actually testing out some new skincare products which is probably why my skin is having a reaction. Anyways, back to Too Faced. So the first thing that I am going to apply to my face and it's something that I like from Too Faced is their Hangover Good in Bed Hydrating Serum with hyaluronic acid, coconut water, dragon fruit, and vitamin B5. I like this one because it's a very lightweight serum. Looks like jelly basically, clear, absorbs and evaporates really quickly. It gives your skin that dose of hydration without the oily, greasy residue, which is something that my oily AF skin loves. And this is something that I can actually wear under makeup. I'm generally a big fan of Too Faced's entire Hangover RX line. I love the serum, I love the finishing spray, which is also a priming spray. I'm obsessed with the Hangover uh, lip balm. I don't have it handy with me because it's actually upstairs in my bedroom. I use it every night before I go to bed and it did make it into one of my favorites, but I will pop up a picture of the Hangover balm that I love and it's absolutely worth the money. And it keeps my lips super moisturized, super hydrated all night long. In the morning, I actually wake up with pillowy lips. So for this Too Faced video, I'm going to try the powder under foundation method because I'm gonna be using products that I'm well familiar with, products that I like a lot, namely this Peach Perfect Setting Powder, or in this case, Priming Powder. I'm either gonna use the original Born This Way foundation or I'm gonna use the Do You Full Coverage foundation. I feel like I could use a little bit more coverage than normal, but I really love both of these, so hang on. Let's just go ahead and set. Now, just because I love something from a brand does not mean that I love everything from this brand. So although I am a big fan of this Peach Perfect Powder, I absolutely do not love the Born This Way Powder. Reason being is because the Born This Way Powder has some of the most unfortunate flashback in the business. I'm gonna pop a picture right here so you guys can check it out. Yup, that's me next to all the girls who are looking flawless and me looking like an inside out raccoon. Not cute. That day I generally doused myself in the Too Faced Born This Way setting powder. I thought I looked so cute because that powder is very perfecting. However, the flashback, like I said, is the best in the game. This powder, for some reason, isn't as light reflective. It's a little bit more matte, and so because of that, it's a lot more forgiving. Only thing about this powder that I like, that you may not like, is that it actually has a taste. So when you press it around your skin while talking, naturally you're gonna have particles that get in your mouth, and they honestly taste like peach sugar, if peach sugar was a thing. I don't know how good that is for you, I don't know how great that is for your skin, but it makes for a pleasant experience. Okay, so for my breakouts, I'm just gonna press this powder right on top of the breakouts and just really saturate this whole area with powder. Packaging is great, so you could easily just cover that up once you're done, close it up and put it away, no mess. Next, I'm gonna take the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. Cute. 
The mist isn't super fine on this. It's kind of liberal mist. And ooh, don't let any of that get in your eye, girl. Let's just give that an opportunity to set. And then let's talk about why I like this product. This is silicone free, alcohol free, and oil free. I like that it's a three in one. It helps you to prime and also to set and also to refresh throughout the day. Next up, the primer. My favorite primer from Too Faced is the Primed and Poreless. I absolutely hate the Primed and Poreless powder. Like I said again, just because I like one thing from the same collection, from the same brand, does not mean that I like everything. Oh, holy crap. It's kind of a lot. And then I'm gonna use a brush. This is a Sigma Dome Buffer to blend everything out. Mainly focusing on the area on the center of my face because that is where I need the extra priming, extra smoothing, extra grip, and an extra barrier between my oils and the foundation. Looking better already. Honestly, this whole area here isn't as inflamed as it was before. I really think that the ingredients, the hyaluronic acid in this, plus the coconut water and probiotic-based ingredients in this really help to boost your skin. I am ready for foundation, and I'm actually gonna go for the Do You. If you guys are new to my channel, and perhaps you wanna see a review of the Born This Way Matte, I did just review this foundation like one video ago, which is actually probably why my skin broke out so bad because me and this foundation did not get along one bit. So you could check that out up here if you're curious. But for today, we're gonna stick to positive. So I'm gonna do you. This is in the Sage, Sage Shand. I was really about to say Sage Shand. Shade Sand, guys, which is my winter shade. Even though it's the summertime right now, I've been using SPF 1000 because I'm doing a lot of different skincare treatments, acids, retinols, and so my skin has not seen the sun at all. Isn't it just so satisfying when you can glide your foundation across your skin and it covers everything with just one stroke? I like that, and I like that when Too Faced says full cover, they really mean full coverage. There's a lot of pigment in this foundation, but it doesn't feel heavy. It's kind of like a glam summertime foundation, if that makes sense. You guys, I'm so pale right now. I think I'm even fairer than my winter shade, because even this is looking tan on me, which is usually like spot on. Anyway, it's not that off, and the coverage is just so beautiful that I'm really not mad one bit. Okay, you get the idea. I'm not gonna get carried away. This is it, this is the foundation. Looks really beautiful. Not luminous, but definitely very dewy, very creamy. Most importantly, it doesn't feel heavy on the skin. I hate the feeling of a mask on the skin, especially in the summertime, especially in New York where it's so freaking humid. I was born to be in the desert. How's that search for that LA home going? It's not. Honestly, you guys, I can't wait for things to go back to normal, but I don't know if they ever will go back to normal. I don't wanna like take too much time away from this video, but something about the world right now just feels like it's pivoting, it's shifting. Something just doesn't feel right or stable, at least to me. I don't know about you guys, but I find myself very worried. I find myself stressing about the condition of the world and just thinking about what's going on at least once a day. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Let me know if you feel the same. Okay, back to the makeup. I'm gonna take this uh, Hangover 3-in-1, and you know what? I'm gonna spray my face one more time. I feel like deserves it, but a light spray this time. Love that. Now for concealer, I'm not gonna reach for the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. One, because I don't have it. Two, because I don't like it. Let's reach for something that I actually like, which is my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Medium. The reason why I don't like the Too Faced Born This Way is because I think Tarte is better. And so I'm gonna use what I think is the best for me. I know a lot of people swear by the Born This Way, but you know, I'd rather not talk about something that is mediocre. I'd rather just talk about the best of the best from a brand and not try to like make something work, but instead just highlight what actually is the best from them, you know? Another thing about Too Faced and I, as I was gathering up the products for this video, I realized how many Too Faced favorites I actually have. And then it also hit me. Wow, I've been using this brand since I was in high school. I'm so familiar with their products. Too Faced, Jared in particular, the owner and founder of Too Faced, was one of the first people to actually recognize my blog when I first got on Instagram and on Facebook and kind of started doing my thing on social media. He reached out to me immediately. He sent me a box of products and I just remember feeling so inspired inspired and just feeling so motivated to continue creating. And we've honestly had a really great relationship ever since. And as I always say, just because I have a great relationship with someone does not mean that their brand is immune to my criticism. And Jared and Jeremy of 
two-faced have been more than gracious with how they accept their criticism, at least from me and from my end. Face is looking mighty fine. Acne is kind of like covered up, but I'm not gonna go in crazy because as you can see, I have a couple of like bigger, larger, more like cystic types of breakouts. So I'm gonna leave those alone. I don't wanna put too much product on them. I just kind of wanna, you know, give one sheer layer and then hopefully when I turn to the side, no one can really tell. <laughs> okay, for the powder, I'm gonna go back to the Peach Perfect. I'm gonna do just a light set, but just a little glaze across the forehead because I still want the Do You foundation to be dewy and to be doing its thing. Next up, I am gonna grab a cult favorite. Now, this one is a classic. I am talking about none other than Too Faced Chocolate Soleil and Dark Chocolate Soleil bronzers. I love these so much. Let's go for the original Chocolate Soleil. The smell, delicious. Puts you in just the best mood ever. Secondly, superb formula. Pigmented, noticeable. And it's one of the first bronzing powders that actually didn't make you look orange or dirty. Now this was also one of the first bronzing powders you could actually contour with. And I guess it came out around that time when contouring really became a thing. And that's when I discovered that I had cheekbones. I'm actually gonna take a slightly smaller brush, something a little bit more precise. I'm going to contour gently instead. I'm gonna contour my chin just a bit. Maybe my nose a little bit too. Just the sides. Now speaking of Too Faced bronzers, just because I like the original Soleil bronzer, doesn't mean that I love the Diamond Light bronzer. Although this is very, very pretty, very clever, great packaging, great marketing idea. Okay, looks like a gem. It's just not that much of a gem of a product, actually. So I wouldn't necessarily put this in the bronzer category. It's kind of like shimmery and glistening, but it adds like a very metallic sort of frost to your face. So I don't really like it, but I know a lot of people do. So the reason why I'm bringing it up is because this is one of those products that's a matter of preference. And now I showed you that on my forehead because my forehead is pretty flawless at the moment, but imagine what that would look like across my breakouts. That wouldn't be great at all for me, but maybe it would be good for you. So anyways, that's kind of like why I wanna create these best of the ultimate guide series videos is to really be as informative as possible and to help you make an educated decision about what you're purchasing from a brand. So I'm actually gonna add a playlist up here of all of my best of or the ultimate guide series of all the different brands that I've done. And also comment down below and let me know which ones am I missing and which ones should I do next. Thanks guys. I need to do my brows and I am not a huge fan of Too Faced brow products. BRB with my brows. All right, so now I am ready to dive into the fun category, which is the eyeshadows. Off the bat, I will say that Too Faced eyeshadows are not my favorite eyeshadows in the makeup game. However, they do have some palettes that I absolutely love, with these two being my favorites, Sweet Peach and the Clover palette. I believe these are actually their best sellers. I'm pretty sure that the Clover palette is one of their best sellers, so today I'm gonna be using the Clover palette, plus it's really vibrant, pretty, it's got some colors that I'm very much drawn to, so this is perfect. I also, I'm not a huge fan of Too Faced primers, but I do like these new liquid matte eyeshadows and I feel like they work great as primers. So that is what I'm gonna be using today. I have a couple of them here in my stash. I believe there's about maybe six or eight colors. I have just a couple. I'm gonna use the shade Chocolate Malt, kind of just like a nudie, brownie type shade. I'm gonna add that all over my movable lid and crease. And then I'm gonna blend that out with basically just tapping that out. I like that these eyeshadows are super opaque. They do dry down matte. They act as primers, kind of similar to the Huda Beauty dual-ended eyeshadows, but these can compared to the Huda Beauty are actually a little bit more opaque. So if you have any type of discoloration on your lids, if you have fine veins, or if you have much darker lids, you'll probably like these a lot. Next, 
I'm gonna pick up my Clover palette and I'm gonna go for the shade here, which is called Fur Baby. I'm gonna take a clean, small taper blending brush from Sigma E45 and just add a bit of definition in my outer crease. I'm gonna go for a very wearable look today. I do have another Zoo meeting with the K-Beauty brand, so I don't wanna be too Western with my makeup, you know what I'm saying? I wanna be a little bit more light-handed rather than heavy-handed. It's amazing how your styles of makeup change with the styles of culture, right? Like our culture has definitely shifted in a major way in the last eight months or so. And now I feel that the fashion and beauty trends are following suit. It's actually amazing to watch. Anyway, this shade is really nice. And I think the combination of the matte liquid shadow and Too Faced drier formula eyeshadows is actually a really good match. And I like the way that they're blending into each other. It seems to be pretty effortless and honestly very enjoyable. That's also something that I've been paying greater attention to lately. What am I actually enjoying? Is this makeup that I'm applying on fun to apply on? I feel like there's a a lot of things that I can do that require extra effort from me. Makeup at this current state of my life should not be one of those things. Although when it comes to blending eyeshadows, if you want it to look good and professional, you still gotta put in an effort. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm just taking a clean brush and just swiveling and sweeping back and forth just to create a bit more softness. I feel like that alone is very, very professional looking. I like it. I'm gonna go back to Fur Baby. I'm gonna line my outer lower lash line. I don't really like to apply primer onto my lower lash line because I always enjoy a wash of color on the bottom. I just wanna have this very subtle shadowed look, almost like a drop shadow. So what I do instead is I apply primer directly to the corner, which is where my eyeshadow tends to break up, but then I kinda just like sweep it right on the bottom because I applied concealer there anyway, so the lid is already primed. It's not going to shift. Going into the shade here called Cuddle Buddy. Just going to sweep that from the middle of my lid, almost like in a wing. And then slightly back like that. Okay, that's looking a little too much for my K-Beauty Zoom today, so I'm gonna blend that out. They even told me that there's gonna be a very special guest on this Zoom call. Guys, what if it's Lisa from Blackpink? I will die. So I kinda gotta look good, smoldering. Blending all that out, making it blurry and blended and profesh looking. I don't know if I wanna do anything for the lid, maybe just a little bit of shimmer. How about this one, cuteness overload? Whoa, just like a dot right there, just to give my eyes a bit of a pop. You see how that just brightens up and opens up the eyes? I'm gonna reach for good boy. That's what I tell my cats, good boy. And I'm gonna plop that right there in that inner corner. Do you see how nice that is? Do you see how pigmented it is? I like that it's got this slight hint of shimmer, pop of brightness, but nothing too crazy, you know? We're whimsical, but we're not trying too hard. We have a pop of color, but we're not colorful all over. We're still very neutral and very wearable. I love that. I'm gonna skip liner, and I'm just gonna do my signature lash thing that I like to do. I'm gonna curl my lashes. This isn't a Too Faced curler. Also gonna curl my bottom lashes. And then for my mascara today, I'm gonna to be using one of my favorites, which is Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. Now, a lot of people swear by the Better Than Sex Mascara. It's actually probably Too Faced number one bestseller, and the waterproof formula is just as good. So for someone like me who can't wear a non-waterproof formula, this is a really great option because it still gives me that fluffy looking, wispy, natural lash look that I desire, and it doesn't smudge. One thing that I like to do is not apply mascara mascara to the part that I curled with my lash curler, and that's what keeps my lashes upright all day. For lashes that are as short and small as mine, wearing too much product on them is what weighs the curl down. So I absolutely never apply any mascara to that crimp. I'm gonna take my little Better Than Sex liquid liner, which is actually a tiny little pen with brush strokes, so it's not a felt tip. And this one's great because it's so precise. It's probably like the most perfect applicator for Twiggies, aka okay, my little lash extensions. And now, getting to my personal favorite part of Too Faced, which is their original Lip Injection Extreme glosses. Now this is the original gloss, not the original packaging. I remember being a student in France, going to Sephora and purchasing the little tiny 40 euro lip injection extreme it was in a tiny tiny little bottle but it was amazing and everybody was obsessed with it and for many years that was the only gloss that I would wear I wouldn't even consider other brands glosses as glosses now since this original lip injection extreme Too Faced has actually expanded this family they have color plumping glosses that look like this now they also have 
the colorful formula more like the original but just with a hint of color i already have my lips lined but let's just go ahead and reline them i'm gonna use this nars good enough and let's go for that original and by the way i collect them i have not two i probably have like six or seven of those i like to apply a generous amount to the back of my hand and then I just like to slap that across my lips. Hmm. I love the fact that this original product has that beautiful pearly sheen, which is just so wearable and it looks good with so many different eye looks. Oh yes, I'm starting to feel that sting. I'm starting to feel that burn. Oh yes, Ooh, yes. The last thing I'm gonna do is pick up the Sweet Peach Glow Palette, which has a blush, a highlighter, and a bronzer contour shade. I'm just gonna use the highlighter and the blush shade from this trio because it is my favorite. I'm gonna add just a hint of peachiness to my cheek. I like that these shades are so subtle, but very flattering. They're texture perfecting, so they're not highlighting my bumps here. The highlighter is very soft and very nice. So here is my final face using all Too Faced products. Only my faves and not my fails because this video is basically a roundup video of all of the best products from Too Faced Cosmetics. Now don't just take my word for it, watch other reviews, watch other people's best of videos or one brand tutorials featuring Too Faced, see what products they like. Give yourself a well-informed opinion before you make the purchase. But I hope you do try out some of my favorites because they are my favorites for a reason. They work for me, they work for my skin type, they work for my makeup preferences. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and for subscribing. Definitely let me know which best of video you'd like to see next. Is it Charlotte Tilbury? Is it NARS? Comment below, let your voice be heard, and I am so happy to film these videos for you. I love you guys, zoom it on out so that you can check out some of my other videos and hit subscribe if you haven't already. I love you, mwah.